So you can see right beside uh, MTS, Roger. we're going to take you over to Rivna, which is about uh, 130 miles uh, away from where MTS is. We are joined by the mayor of that town, Alexander Tretyak. Alexander, you have joined us before uh, as well. I'm really glad that you are uh, able to talk to us again. Um, I should remind people that your town, your city, is not too far from the border with Belarus. And when we talked to you last time, you were preparing for what may come. Since then, we've learned that there was, I think, a television tower just outside of Rivna that was attacked and went down. Uh, several people were killed. What is the situation in your, in your city right now? Yes, I just uh, came back to my uh, city administration uh, from the funeral. We just buried our heroes, our soldiers who were killed by Russians uh, who sent the rockets to our TV tower. So unfortunately, 21 soldiers were killed by this attack. And we keep fighting. We never give up. We will keep fighting. So, yeah, we are close to Belarus border. And, of course, uh, our militaries and uh, everybody just ready to protect our borderline with Belarus. Yes, yeah. the threats from Belarus still uh, ready. And uh, anyway, we will fight. When we spoke to you last time, you talked about how much your job has changed over the past few weeks and how you were helping citizens uh, to, to arm citizens. Citizens were showing up wanting guns. What do I see behind you there? Yep. I see. Are those sandbags behind you? Yes. Yes. You, you're right. This is a sandbox. Uh, this is uh, city administration. Here is my office. Mm -hmm. And here I have uh, these sandboxes and I have... Uh, National Guard with a gun. Actually, every government uh, building just around it with uh, militaries, with uh, uh, guard, and uh, everything say that here in Rivne, we are ready mm -hmm. to protect our own city. Um, you know that the Russians are targeting infrastructure. The TV tower would have been an yep. example of that. But you also have a nuclear power plant um, near you. Are you concerned about that becoming a target as well? And, and what are you doing to ensure the safety of your citizens? Yes, uh, Russians want to destroy our TV channels, our informational fields, and so on. But we will keep our people safe and we will keep in touch with our communities and with our region and we will send right information. Russians want to destroy all the ways uh, of spreading right and proper information. But anyway, we uh, restore, we already restored TV channels and TV signals. So people again uh, receive all information through TV and radio. As for nuclear power plants, I have to say that uh, uh, we don't afraid nothing from 2014. When the Russians started its aggression in at the east of Ukraine, uh, we as Ukrainians, as nation, we uh, don't afraid nothing. Of course, we protect our uh, nuclear power plants. Of course, we, uh, we have some plans and protections, mm. but uh, I have to say that much more people from European countries should afraid more. Why? Because uh, Putin take over control Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. And this is much more dangerous than Chernobyl. If you remember Chernobyl disaster, if something happened with Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, that is uh, that right now at this moment uh, under the control of Russians. If something explodes there, it's going to be six times more disaster than Chernobyl. Um, it's, it's scary stuff. Um, in the meantime, in the backdrop, uh, Ukrainian and Russian uh, officials have been negotiating. Uh, your president, President Zelensky, uh, I think he said that it appears as if the Russians are becoming more reasonable, whatever that is. Are you hopeful that a peace agreement could occur in the near future? Uh, as for uh, any negotiations, as for any officials and diplomatic ways, this is a question to our uh, uh, officials, diplomatic officials. I am just a mayor, so I cannot tell you uh, more 
nothing. I just can tell you more about our community and our mm -hmm. region. And of course, we support our president, we support our officials and diplom and uh, minist uh, ministers of foreign affairs, what they are doing right now. So this is the level they should uh, push on. Well, Mayor uh, Tretiak, uh, it, it, the mayors across the country have been doing an incredible work in such uh, desperate times. And I want to thank you for stopping to take some time to talk to us right now. Thank you so much. And thank you for showing the truth, what's going, what's going on really in Ukraine. And please uh, spread much more information about uh, our situation and about the war in Ukraine. We call it war, not conflict, not, not any uh, names. This is a real war Russia started against Ukraine. And I have to repeat one more time. Russia, this is a terrorist country, terrorist number one in the world. Thank you, sir. Stay safe. Thank you.